you've got some hopes. What, is he out? Out for the count. Nothing short of a bomb under that bed had shift him. Like trying to wake the dead, eh? Oh, that'd be easy by comparison. We'll shift him. Do what you like with him. Oh, and shut the door. <laughs> Down in the crypt, nothing stirred. The air hung still and rattled. Only evil stalked the boat in protection of its lord and master. A fiend so foul, his heart was blacker than the cold night which he awaited. But even as the shadows began to lengthen, our heroes raced against the light to rid the earth of this fire creature. The coffin creaked, but too late! Uh, uh, he was face to face with the vampire hunters. Oh, grow up, will ya? What are you two comedians doing here this early? It's not early. It's up past nine. Is it? Oh, go and do some breakfast, will it? I think he means it. Well, go on, then. I think you're right. <laughs> ah, oh, you... <laughs> Just you wait till you want me to do something for you. This place is a tip, Tucker. Yeah. My old man's yard's in a better state than this. Ugh. Oh. And what is that smell? There are some things you best not know about, my son. Pass me socks, will you? Tucker, you have got to be joking. How'd you go with me show last night, then, Tucker? Swept for the first thing, didn't I? Candlelit dinner in the bus shelter, was it? Yeah, something like that. You? Well, I don't need a pamper and tucker. I'll just press the right buttons and... <laughs> they don't want to waste time with candlelit dinners and that. Pass will know about that, does he? I hope not. Ralph would not be pleased. Too right. Ralph knows what he's missing. What you don't see for sus, Tom, is your revolting lust for Alison Powell is not able to land tucker and me in hospital with GB8. Yeah. Ever since we saved you from a good kicking, a missed the fruit and veg, is that it in for me and Alan as well, you know? Well, that's what friends are for, isn't it? All for one, one for all. Yeah, we're all in for a good kicking. I saw him yesterday. He said we can do all three of us. United we stand, Al. Divided we fall. United or divided, Tom. We are still in for a good kicking from Passmore. Why didn't you have a go at you yesterday, then, Al? I was with my dad. That didn't seem to stop him last time. That's true. Maybe he's influenced by Phase of the Moon or something. <laughs> We ought to get his horoscope cards before we go down the doll house, see if the omens are good. Here, Al. Not that serious about taking us three on for working for him, is he? Well, he did say there were a few odd jobs going. On a casual basis, like, for a bit of extra money. <laughs> I bet he didn't say how much extra. Uh, no. I thought not. Now, that man is tighter than two coats of paint. You're supposed to be telling me something I don't know? I mean, trying to employ you as slave labour is one thing. But trying to rope me and Tom in at his rate, now that is exploitation. Yeah, mind you, extra money would be nice, wouldn't it? Nice? Essential. I ain't taking Michelle out again so I can put my hand in my pocket and feel something other than a dirty Yankee and some fluff. So what sort of jobs he got in mind, then? Well, he did say there was a shop that needed paint, then, oh. didn't he? My toast! Hmm. Thank you, eh? I've always fancied myself with something of an artist. What do you reckon, Tucker? Well, that's the only decent offer you've had so far. Besides, you'll keep your dirty little hands off Alison Powell, won't it? It's keeping her dirty little hands off me. That's what you want to worry about. <laughs> right, lads, this is it. Look at the state of it. How are we supposed to paint this? I know it is a bit early in the day for you, Tommy, my son, but the idea is that you start the painting after you've cleared out all the rubbish. Who, us? Who did you think? Honestly, I sometimes wonder if it isn't all a bad dream. No one said anything about shifting rubbish. I've bagged up most of it for you already. I've got the van outside to cart it away. I would be ever so grateful if you could see your way clear to moving it out for me. What do you think, lads? Well, I don't know. Some painting job this turned out to be. Well, we need the money, don't we? Oi, never mind the conference. Do you want to earn a few bob or don't you? I'd rather earn a few notes. Look, I told you. This is for extra pocket money, nothing more. You're not allowed to earn more than that. You're on national assistance anyway. Supplementary benefit, Dad. Have you come here to waste my time? 
Or do you want to do a bit of work? I'm going to need gloves if I'm going to shift that lot. I think I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Alan, you're in charge. Wrong way round, Tommy. Bend your knees. That's it. And keep your back straight. Otherwise, you do yourself a nasty injury, son. Oh, don't strain yourself, Tucker. Listen, can I help it if Major desire me to be one of life's executives? I mean, you, Al, were obviously put together to be a navvy. Whereas me, I'm more your middle management. And where's that put me? Well, you're just a blagger, Tommy. Get away with doing as little as you can. In that case, Tommy, you ought to be in middle management. Get off your ass, Tucker, and do some work. Tucker, keep it up, son. Uh, don't let me stop you. You're not. Well, in that case, I think this should go in now. Well, it's lucky for me you came by then, isn't it? I never worked that out for myself. Which just goes to prove what I always say. What's that? It's not what you know, is it? It's who you know. Now, if I knew your mate's dad, I could get a good job like this, couldn't I? I'm thinking frap. We'll have a word with him when he comes out. Sit up there while you're waiting. You'll be well at home there, mate. This is full of crap. Just want to be drinking. Hey! Your tea break, Tucker. See you later, Jenkins. Cotton chips, not five, right, one pound. Five oh, thanks, thanks, thanks a lot. Yep. Trust yep. you to buy a pickled onions. Look at the size of them. Hey! I don't want to buy it. Look, if you'd have wanted to have a little bite, you'd buy fish. Not for the brain, innit? In that case, you'd better have a double portion. What happened to some of me cod, then? Look, if I'd have wanted cod, I would have bought cod. Don't go yet, darling. If you play your cards right, you could have my body. You've got to be joking. There's more fat on that chip. That's right. I'm all muscle. I don't know how you do it. It's all a matter of knowing which ones to approach. Yeah. How do you know that before you've approached them? It's like a sixth sense. You get it with experience. You turn, Maestro. You see, some girls, complete waste of time. They look straight through you. Eyes riveted on that altar. <laughs> you might as well cuddle up to a statue. You taking all this in? Her, for instance. She's got the altar stare. No chance of getting your hand up her kill. Or hers. She took an engagement ring at least. Yeah. But they all look like that to me, don't they? That's because you've got to learn to break down the barriers. Bit of cheek. They love it. Last night, I went out of some pal eating at the palm of my hand. Do you know she swore never to see Passmore again? Did she? Well, you didn't have too much luck just now, did you? What do you mean? That redhead who just went out? Yeah, the one who just knocked you back. Knocked me back? Are you kidding? That was a blatant come on. I can see I'm going to have to get right down to work on you. Don't trouble yourself, Tom. No trouble. That's what friends are for, isn't it? You just leave it to your old Uncle Tommy. I'll sort you one out on the way back, if you like. Oh, thanks. Relax. I know just the place. Birds there all the time. They attack me. And then the last week, in two blondes. There you go. Where you going? I said I'd get something for Michelle dinner time. Look, I'll see you there, all right? Do we ever do? I never know what to say to him. Don't worry. On the way there, I shall coach you in the subtle art of pulling. All right? Yeah. Oi. What do you think you're doing eating those chips in here? Have you got it? Well, you have them on a plate and pay VAT. The same as everyone else. Come on. All right. I ain't finished me other saveloy yet. <sighs> you want to watch your waistline, you do. All these double helpings will ruin your figure. Ruin your sex life and all. 
What's next class? Here we go. Now, watch. Oh, what a waste! Legs like yours should be in an exhibition, and you're walking around on them. You and me can make such sweet music together. Just say the word and I'm yours to command. Drag me around on a lead, walk all over me, call me names, anything. But just say you'll be mine. See? I told you. Come on, your turn. See? Two little beauties. Get in there, son. No, don't fancy it, Tom. Yes, you do. Just say what I told you. And then what? Don't worry, I'll be here. <laughs> well, I suppose there's no to say no. No, there certainly is. I'll state my reputation on it. Come on. This could be a lucky day. Hello, girls. This could be your lucky day. Oh, yeah. Selling charms, Why go against fate? You walk away now, and you take the risk our piles may never cross a second time. We only get one shot at it. We only get one shot at it. Live your lives. Take your chances where you can. In the words of the song... Yeah. You may lose, you may win. You may lose, you may win. But we'll never be here again. Is that right? Yeah. So don't be shy. So don't be shy, girls. Life is what you make it. I quite agree with you. I mean, that's what I'm always telling her. Come on, then, big boy. Let's throw caution to the wind. Carol, tell Mr Hargreaves I'm never coming back. So where are you going to take me, lover? Casablanca, Marrakesh, Zanzibar? Uh, look, I can't really leave me mates. Can't leave your mates? Yes, he can. Don't worry about us. We've got to get back to work. That's all right. What's that? You're not feeling well. You'll be telling lies, aren't you? You may not have a lot to say, but neither has Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood doesn't have to. You really blew that one. What a crap. Where's he going? Tommy, go back and check the shop, eh? See you later. She had to be there, didn't she? All this time I've been chasing after her and she had to be there at that moment to see me behave like that. She didn't see all that performance. She did. I could see it in her face. Well, she was with someone else. I don't think she was paying you that much attention. You're wasting your time there, son. Face it. She's on the upward shift. If you don't let go soon, you're going to get off on a great fight. Why don't you mind your own business? I think we should give him a hand with the painting. <laughs> oh, fat so. Come on, Jenkins, we're going to get out of your screen, boy. Oh, his old man should love that. And maybe he'll give us a job. Rescue one, sir. Here we go. Wally! Again. Hello, Bubbles! Have some of that! Now tell your two mates. This place needs a second coat. <laughs> <laughs>
just nasty, son. Have you tried Terps? If that won't shift it, I don't know what to suggest. I don't know. No, 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 that's a good shirt. I feel responsible. Look at your trousers. They're old ones. That's not the point, is it? It's not right. You should have to ruin them in this mess. It wasn't us, Mr. Humphreys. Oh, that's all right, then. we have got to clear it up. Oh, yes. I know. I know that. Because there won't be any money coming from me until you have. What are you going to do when I'm not here anymore to hold your hand? Hmm? You swan around, sounding off about what type of job you might be prepared to accept, if they ask you nicely enough. You haven't got a clue. Who else do you think would put up with this? I thought this morning you really were going to make a job of it. But, oh, no. Two hours later, I came back and you were playing silly buggers. Now, look at this. Come on, it was us as well, Mr. H. I know that. But it should be a bit different for him. He owes me a bit more concern, a bit of loyalty. I left you in charge, Alan. When are you gonna grow up? When can I finally stop having to wipe your nose for you? Start on this later on now. Why? What you got in mind? What do you think? You ain't going visiting, are ya? You? you coming? Tucker, Passmore's a bloody psychopath. Come on, Snow White. Come on. Josh. Three teas at sixteen p. Sixteen p. Three teas at sixteen p is four... daylight robbery. That's what that is. It's forty eight p. If you don't like it, you can go elsewhere. Well, Ian there. Yeah, him and his old army. What are you, some new type of punk? No, nah, I just had a bad fright, that's all. We got time to drink these before we rush the pub. Ain't about. Here they come. Closing time by now. Closing time for me too, if I have many more customers like you. There's no time limit on how long it takes to drink our tea, is there? Drink it? You had time to evaporate. Oh, sorry. Oxy was stopping people from using the tables. Thank you for having a road, eh, Tom? Likes of you about. I'm not surprised the place is empty. No, you don't care. Hang about. One each. Who's having pass more? All of us. They're about to split up sooner or later. Just give us something free, quick, all right? Because you wanted to go into Falklands and they wouldn't have you. Yeah, easy, wasn't it? All right, I've got a little bit of business here. I'll see you after that. Hello? Sorry. Yeah, no, no. 
feel there's no point in waiting, is there? We could be here all day. Your bottle never ceases to amaze me, Tommy. Al, go and tuck yourself around the corner down the other end, cut off his escape. All right. You know, Tommy's right. He could be in there for hours. We ain't shut the door. Listen. He's coming out all right. Wait to the room, shut that front door, and then give him time to get well away from it. You got it? Got it. Yeah, you that saw that video. There's somebody with him. Right. Now! Get out of it! What are you supposed to be going out with me? No looking like that, I'm not. Oh, never mind that. What were you doing with Passmore? What do you want me to do? Pretend he don't exist anymore? No, but I don't expect to see you walking around on his arm. Yeah, well, I'm not going to ignore him every time I happen to bump. Oh, I happen to bump into him. Thanks for all the help. That is gaff or what? Look, if you must know, I was meeting Michelle. That's how I saw him. What was Michelle doing there? Why shouldn't I be there? Not possession of yours? So it would appear. You don't own me. I never said I did, but I do want to know how I stand. What is Passmore to you? <laughs> suppose I love him. Well, that's it then. Why? Why? I well, don't see how it affects me and you. Oh, so you're going to stop seeing him? Oh, I couldn't do that. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, what's so funny? <laughs> it's my brother. <laughs> Passmore? Passmore's your brother?